chem cell. Yeah. He didn't give us enough power to actually use the job recoiler. Job recoilers require a lot of power. So we're just going to put that back in for no particular reason. And, um, yeah, like our guy for giving us such a terrible uh, recoiler. Uh, recoilers don't work if you're in combat. They can't be, a, oh my god, you're in terrible uh, danger. Get, get away. They can't be that kind of item. But they can be used for uh, getting out of impossible to get out of uh, dungeon areas, which shouldn't happen in this game, but sometimes do. And uh, they're also nice for saving time. So here's our guy. If he says, I use the wires. Uh, something called a conduit is using it and picking up a signal. I, I'm too stupid to figure out what to do with it. Why don't you go to people who are smarter than me? The, uh, what, what, what are they called? Uh, the Barathromites. They're a bunch of uh, cave bears. And they're smarter than the average cave bear. It's a terrible joke. Uh, yes, he wants us to talk to their leader, Barathrum, the old. That's, you know, you, you may be uh, Barathrum the wise, but not old. That's a little, uh, whatever. He, he lives in Grickgate. A friendly village of people who are um, very reserved and uh, don't talk to people that much. And there are the Urshib. Yep. Mutant albino cave bears. And we're going to be uh, trying to meet these mutant albino cave bears. So he's mumbling a bunch again because that's what Argive does. And he gives us some pretty nice stuff. A droid scrambler and our guy's data disk. So now that we have these things, let's uh, go back to that one place where we're stockpiling random garbage. Uh, certainly, I'm not here for any particular reason. Uh, or I'm gonna drop that. I don't want to be carrying around the recoiler. I'll explain a little bit about the droid scrambler. In Grickgate, there are some very powerful enemies, the way droids. They, uh, as I said, are very powerful and. Um, are part of the defense of Grickgate. If you are carrying around a droid scrambler though, they're going to become allied with you. They're going to become, what well, these guys are, friendly. And they're going to be killing enemies with you, for you. Uh, I would never suggest to uh, drop the droid scrambler here because they're so dangerous and chances are you're going to die if you uh, actually do so. However, I'm going to do it because I am an amazing person who's overconfident. Uh, I have pretty much perfected the art of killing way droids and leaving a peaceful town of Grickgate, which is right here, uh, completely uh, vulnerable to invasion, the elements, pests, everything. Just destroy all their defenses. Uh, the main reason why I do this is because way droids give a really good amount of experience for this point in the game. I guess not so amazing, but 250 experience, there are plenty of them, and when they're after you, they're not going to be killing other enemies like spark ticks, which are very easy to kill, very quick to kill, and give tons of experience as well. So this is just a way to really get a lot more experience out of this point, which is good because we plan to not get so much experience in later dungeons when we start using domination a bit more, uh, trying to find a little bit more of the potential in domination. So, we are going to have a long trip ahead of ourselves, make sure that we have enough food. Uh, I think that's enough, but we're going to get a little bit more. We're going to go for a double uh, water vine. Here's a double water vine, and we got 40 water vine from it. And we're going to get lost probably, right? Right, right, right? No! Okay, we're in Grickgate, sort of. So... I guess that was a very easy quest. We'll just talk to Brathrum. He's probably here. Okay, we got 500 experience. That's pretty nice. Uh, maybe that's Brathrum. Let's see. Hey, Brathrum, you want to talk? What? Ah! Why, why do you do this, Wagerwin? Oh, yeah, because I don't have the uh, recoil, uh, recoil... No, the, the scrambler. So instead, we're just going to kill you. Die! Uh, you can actually kill these guys when they're friendly, but that won't give you an experience. So I suggest killing them normally. And we get 250 experience. And let's show off a glitch. Uh, probably the person who knows this about who made this game knows about this. Considering it's hard to miss, he's probably doing it on purpose because he has plans for how the outskirts of Grickgate will be 
and he has yet to implement those plans. But whatever. Right now it's weird. Uh, it's also a little bit useful in that if you're really low on HP, you can run there where there are no enemies, a little safe zone, and take a nap. Uh, or if you have a particularly powerful enemy like this guy, you can make it so you only fight one guy at a time. And did he just kill that? You just killed the spark. Oh, I hate you so much. I'm going to kill you. I was already going to kill you, but now I'm, I I I uh, was going to kill you more because you killed that spark tick that I wanted to kill, and so I didn't get 150 experience, which is really uh I I like to get experience, especially now I have three mutation points and I can uh, I'm only one away from getting a manifesting a new mutation. Uh, let's kill you, and we have enough charges. Yep. Let's just go full out on these guys. The uh, weight droids can also drop some nice things like chem cells. Uh, not so amazing items, uh, but uh, I suppose it, that's at least worth noting. Here are just tons of uh, segmented mirth worms. They are an enemy that is always in just a ton of, uh, or there's just always a ton of them. A little annoying, and by a little annoying, I mean very annoying. Uh, not as annoying as some other things, but oh well. Let's actually eat some of this stuff because we're probably hungry from our long journey. So, whoa, there is a turret in there, I think. Methinks. Yeah, oh, they're fighting each other. That's not so good considering that turrets give lots of experience. So, we want to be the ones to kill it. So, let's try to kill it fast. Usually you can kill it faster than this, I'm surprised. Well, wait a second, wait a second, we have 7 HP. We are not that foolish, and we're not crazy. Okay, this guy, he, he is, I don't like this guy, this chain gun turret guy. I am going to hide, and I'm going to take a nap, because I don't have any lasers. And you're going to die now, and give me like, uh, 300 H experience, what do you give me? Oh my goodness, why do you have so much HP? Die! And one more should do it. Yep, and we got a whole level from that. Yep, 400 experience, sort of, not really. So let's see. Oh, they were also guarding some chests, worth noting. Oh, this might be part of the reason why he was so deadly. He had a friend next to him that I didn't even see. And we got a lot of experience from him, too. And it's a shame that we missed out on some other guys who could have also uh, given us tons of experience, but turrets have this problem of killing each other. So, oh well. Let's see what this weird artifact is. It weighs one pound. Probably going to be a um, a grenade. It is a broken. Oh well. We may never know what that is, considering that this character is going to be dropped soon. Uh, what is this? This is a strength booster. Not a useful one. I never went over these. I should have. Um, oh, I don't even have them anymore. I dropped them, I guess. The... Uh, Healing auto injector. What do you think it does? It heals, obviously. Uh, kind of like the uh, Witchwood Bark, except it doesn't have the here Insta Heal auto injector. I, I called it or something. Uh, it doesn't have the side uh, effects of the Witchwood Bark that we didn't even get to see yet. If we don't get to see it and we're in Grit Gate, I'm gonna at least uh, try to purposely. Uh, Activate it, but uh, oh well. Let's see. Here's a way droid. This is actually a particularly short dungeon in terms of uh, floor levels, but it does tend to take a little bit longer than some of the un other dungeons. So, or it might just be my imagination. And this is a very interesting phenomenon. Sometimes there are multiple uh, chests on top of each other. In this case, uh, lockers on top of each other. There's also some garbage here, which is a very useful item. Not for us yet, though. Um, so, whenever that kind of thing happens, where there's multiple, there are multiple chests on, uh, on top of each other, when you try to open one, when you're done with that, it goes to the other. So, to maybe this is the same kind of uh, artifact, and we get to see what the other thing is. Oh, we do! Wow, I called it! These are both high explosive grenades, but one of them is broken because some idiot was trying to figure out what it was and messed everything up. Stupid guy. So let's just kill this guy before he gets to hurt us. And, yeah. 
run around here. Uh, the bottom isn't the only part that's weird like this. The top is also weird. Uh, and this isn't the only place that uses that. And here's a slumberling! Oh my goodness! He is very tough and hostile. We want to stay away from this guy, especially here with the wage droids that are really stupid and attack slumberlings. Slumberlings are very powerful, but they also have narcolepsy. So they're going to be sleeping when you find them, likely. And uh, if you if someone is foolish enough to attack them, whether that be you or some enemy that also thinks slumberlings are jerks uh, and decides to attack and die, commit suicide by t fighting a slumberling, uh, it will eventually just go back to sleep. So we're just going to stay away from that, and if anything's foolish enough to wake it up, then the thing will die, and we'll know about it later. We don't want, ooh, we don't want to um, be near it, though, when it wakes up. We were just attacked by a, uh, a mutant ability. This is a uh, novice of the sightless way. He's an E. E stands for Esper, which is, is uh, kind of gimmick, you could say. Uh, his abilities, I think, are abilities that you can actually get in the game for your own character. And let's try to kill all these guys at once. And we failed. Usually, these, I thought these guys were weaker. Uh, so, what am I talking about? I want to go to sleep. I said I want to go to sleep! Okay, so... Those guys can attack you from uh, a long distance. Even if you can't see them, they might be able to attack you. And... Uh, I don't consider them particularly dangerous since you could discharge them and uh, kill them very easily. Though later on there is an, an, a, uh, an Esper-esque type enemy that's particularly annoying. The Twinning Lamprey. And I hate them. That's all I could say about them. They are evil. Uh, and they don't even give experience to my knowledge. They are a weird enemy. Oh, wait a second. Didn't we get that? Yeah, we got all those mutation points. How about we do something with that? So, let, let's not uh, be obnoxious and never do it. Let's psych psychometry. I may as well show that off, but I'm not going to keep it. That is the ability to um, do two things. See these doors? They are locked. The security door. And they're various colors. Different colors uh, correspond to different keys. But we have psychometry thingamajigs, so we're able to communicate with technology and say, Hey, technology, what's up? Can you open for me? And the technology is like, sure, man. And then it opens up for you. So that's one uh, use for psych psychometric. Blah, blah. Uh, it can be used to get past these doors that normally you either can't get past or you have to walk around. Uh, but there are better abilities to get past these things. Uh, psych psychometric. Blah, blah can also be used to uh, automatically uh, know how to build things as soon as you uh, examine them. So if we look at this high explosive grenade, if we uh, didn't know what it was, examined it, uh, then we would automatically know how to make a high explosive grenade, Mark 1. So that again can be pretty useful, but considering that we're going to be getting a lot of data disks later on uh, in another way. I'd say it's not worth using. Oh wait, select an artifact that's like to use. Oh, wait a second. Is that how it works? Uh, let's see. Um, what? Um, uh, oh, I guess it has to be an artifact that you don't know much about, and then you click it, and then instead of um, 